Hey, this is Chris at Talon Gaming. Today we're looking at Space Marine Anniversary Edition. Originally released by Relic Entertainment for the PS3, Xbox 360, and PC in 2011, this marks 10 years since the initial release and coincides with the newly announced and highly anticipated Space Marine 2. Can't wait for that as the trailer looks fantastic. Space Marine is based in the Warhammer 40,000 universe and is a story-driven, linear, hybrid shooter hack and slash game viewed in the third person. The story follows the action of the hero of the Ultramarine Space Marine chapter, Captain Titus, as he seeks to save the Adeptus Mechanicus Forge World of Graia from the grips of an orc invasion and the forces of chaos. The Anniversary Edition includes all of the previous DLC, over a dozen in all, as well as some extras like the soundtrack, strategy guide, and wallpapers. The game features both single and multiplayer action, but online play looks pretty vacant, so we're going to be focusing solely on the single player campaign. System requirements are pretty laughable at this point. Any modern PC with 20 gigs of free space can enjoy this one with no problem. Combat is at the forefront of Space Marine and offers up range weaponry such as bolt and plasma weaponry, hole melting laser cannons, and room clearing melta guns. It also serves up melee weapons such as the combat knife, the vicious chainsword, the double edged and devastating power sword, and the immensely powerful thunder hammer. Let's not forget about jetpacks, using them to crash down on enemies and pounding them into a bloody pulp. You can also use devastating mounted weaponry that can also be picked up and used unmounted. During combat you'll also be able to enact executions which are power moves used to finish off dazed or injured opponents and result in fantastic slow motion destruction while also recovering health and on occasion button pounding quick time events when an enemy resists your attempt. Fury is a game mechanic and meter that fills as you damage enemies and once filled, activation will make you faster and stronger while also regaining health. Fury is upgraded as you progress through the game with Marksman Mode that functions while aiming and slows down the action, increases damage and weapon fire rates. There's also Superior Fury which slows down the drain of the Fury Meter granting Prolonged Fury Mode. And finally, Supreme Fury that increases the rate at which you gain Fury, enabling more frequent use. And last but not least, Combinations. The game allows you to string together sequences of actions to create some pretty devastating attacks and it conveniently lists them in the pause menu so you can learn them for each weapon. This was a hell of a lot of fun. What did you guys think of combat in the game? Graphics are great considering the age of this one, even if it doesn't quite compare to a modern title. The textures are reasonably detailed, animations are pretty good outside of the janky running animation, and the little details like blood splatter on the armor are a great addition to the visual experience. Cutscenes are also much of the same and blend well into the game. One fantastic addition is the slow motion effect during executions. It's quite impressive and really highlights just how bloody and violent this game really is. Sound effects are excellent, but this game is loud, so just be aware. The gunplay, hand-to-hand -hand combat, and explosions all feel accurate and really come to life. Music and ambient noise are also good and non-intrusive and help to match the mood to the situation quite well. Voice acting is also very good and sounds pretty comparable to most other 40k games that I've played in the past. Captain Titus of the Ultramarines. The story is pretty good and interesting with its twists and turns and seems completely plausible within the 40k universe. And while it's not tremendously deep, the story played out pretty nicely throughout and was quite enjoyable even if it was a little on the short side. Controls are a little different than most of the games I've played. The game's hybrid shooting and hand-to-hand -hand combat combinational attack style means that your right click swings your melee weapons instead of zooming in. It's also the start of your attacks that use several other keys in combination to create some pretty incredible attacks. It's minor and takes a bit of getting used to, but it does work. The mostly linear pathing the game provides is also very straightforward for the most part. I did find the default difficulty a genuine challenge as well, but there are quite a few other options to suit your skill set. My one gripe here though is that being that I would struggle and nearly die instantly during one attempt and then walk through the next attempt like it was easy, a little more consistency would have been nice. Expect the campaign to take between 6 and 8 hours to complete, which I did and enjoyed very much. This game should have seen more love on its initial release, but it's not too late to enjoy it today. But do grab it while it's on sale. I would not be paying full price for a 10 year old game. When the second game was announced, the price was jacked up into new AAA territory, and that's just shady as if you ask me. Replay value is where the game may be lacking because, of course, multiplayer action has all but dried up, which is unfortunate because I've heard some really good things about it. 
For fans of vicious melee combat, intense and brutal violence, or for fans of Warhammer 40,000 looking to get a little closer to the action, this is the game for you.